Okay, uh, here's a short presentation of my script Instant Limb for Anime Studio Pro. Uh, in short, it works like this. First, I'll set the colors that I want, then select the lower bone in what I want to become an arm or a leg, uh, run the script, uh, where here I can change some options, and when I click OK, I have a limb that is rigged and ready to animate. As for the options, you can set the upper radius, the middle radius, and the lower radius. Uh, if we're creating an arm, that would represent the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. You can set the line width and the distance between the cross sections in the joint. You could just set it to zero, but it, it can be nice to have a, a little bit of distance in case you need to change uh, color after the fact, then it's easier to select the shapes. You can set the curvature of the joint. And down here we have options that you won't see in the preview window. A lower shape on top means that the bottom shape will overlap the upper shape and vice versa. I prefer a lower shape on top for arms and upper shape on top for legs. Fill gaps in joint will create uh, small shapes that cover up uh, the gaps that can sometimes appear around the joint because of the cross sections uh, in the shape. At the moment the script has two limitations. Uh, one, the upper bone cannot be a child of another bone. If the limb is part of a bigger rig, then before running the script use the uh, reparent bone tool to orphan the bone. Uh, after you've run the script you can just reparent the bone again so it's not really a big deal. Two, always try to create the lower bone right at the end of the upper bone. If you don't, you'll get some weird results, but I can't see a reason to rig it like that anyway. Uh, well, that's all for now. Bye.